Retaining moisture is another great advantage with our machine. We live on a very dry continent. And if you're lucky enough to have moisture, it's nice to be able to seal it in and keep it to grow the crop. The last thing you want is to open up the soil and let the sun dry it out. If you have a listen to Dave and Wayne Mutter, they tell about their experiences. I think the fact that we had such a good start uh, uh, to the season in um, sort of late April, um, and then we had very dry, basically dry May, yeah. May and, and June, it's lengthened out our sowing window to a degree by uh, being able to go down and chase that moisture in marginal conditions and to get it up, and the difference really in uh, being able to get those crops up early this year to the world to the later in the program, which were later, is uh, yeah, a huge difference to the degree. So, I think yeah. that gets down to the, with the knife point. We get a lot of mixture of wet and dry soil after we seed it, whereas with this machine that seems to keep the dry soil on top and the wet, wet stuff underneath and that's where the, where the seed was and that's, I think that's why we got so good germination because there was no mixture of wet and dry soil. The main reason is the conditions aren't, well they're, they're alright now but before this they were sort of very marginal. So the disc machines lose less moisture and they place the seed more consistently than our time machines would so that's why we're using them. So like you can probably place it within one centimetre of depth all the time, whereas the tines are all over the place. You can get them reasonably good, but they just lose a lot more moisture. Well, a week ago we had a rainfall event of about 25 mils, which was just enough, not, not great rainfall, but just enough to, to get us going again. And uh, we found that the disc machines got on a lot quicker than the time machines, which is a big benefit because we're very late in the season already. We should have planted the crop four to five weeks ago at least. So uh, it was a benefit getting the disc machines straight onto the crop. We'll probably be able to go longer at the end too, because 25 mils wasn't really enough. But uh, we'll be able to, with the discs, I think we've got to get the job done. With, whereas tyres, I probably would be umming and ahhing a lot more. Yeah, this crop's held on very well with the dry spring. It's really retained its uh, green colour, um, and I've put a lot of that down to the Tobin disc, single disc with the low soil disturbance, and really helps out with the moisture conservation. It leaves the paddock very even. And with the retaining of the moisture up here, because we don't get that much rain, it's essential. If you're lucky enough to have moisture when you're seeding a paddock, this machine will retain it. Not like the tiny air seeder, where it rips all the soil up and dries it out, we, we can't afford to lose that moisture. You've only got to look at the crops and the yeah. difference or where this one put the crops, uh, this bullet, and the tiny air seeder, and you see a big difference because you've got the uh, early germination and therefore the plant is that much healthier. If the wheat well. sits in the ground for a week or two, it never germinates the same as the early germination with the bullet. Don't matter if it's a 12, bag stubble and that stubble helps retain the moisture. I think the the rippled effect, the ridge furrow effect that it still leaves on the soil surface is important for capturing moisture, rainfall events in our environment. So I think that's quite important particularly uh, you know when you do get infrequent rainfall events at crop establishment. So that's definitely been a winner and in terms of its effectiveness compared to other machines I'd rate it right up there with the best of them in terms of getting good crop establishment um, in some pretty challenging conditions. I think uh, it performed above the expectations that I had for it and I think Dave and Wayne would probably agree that it's done a very good job of getting the crop out, out of the ground and up and away. Mm -hmm.